Hello viewers, welcome to Cisco Support Community. I am Karigalan from Land Switching Domain of CSE. In this video, we will see an example of configuring inter-VLAN routing on a Cisco Catalyst 3550 series switch. Now let's see about VLAN. Yeah, VLAN is a logical segment in a switched network. VLAN have same attributes as physical LAN. VLAN separate the devices into different broadcast domain and layer 3 subnets. Devices within a VLAN can communicate with each other without need for routing. Devices in separate VLANs require a routing device to communicate with one another. VLAN offers efficient use of bandwidth, flexibility, performance and security. Now let's talk about inter-VLAN routing. Inter-VLAN routing allows communication between VLANs. New breeds of switches incorporate the routing capability within the switch. The switch that runs enhanced multi-layer image will support inter-VLAN routing. Restriction on inter-VLAN communication could be enabled with the help of access list. Now let's see the different steps involved for configuring the inter-VLAN routing. Enable IP routing in the switch. Create the VLANs. Assigning the switch port to specified VLANs. Assigning IP address to the VLANs. Now let's see the configuration part. First I am presenting to layer 3 switch. Entering password, entering into privilege mode, or entering to global configuration mode. By default, Catalyst 3550 switch acts as a layer 2 device. So we need to enable IP routing globally to make the switch function as a layer 3 device and provide intervalent routing. Now I am entering IP routing command. Now we will verify that IP routing is enabled in the switch by giving show running configuration command in the privilege mode. Here we can look at IP routing is enabled. As shown in the network diagram, we are going to create two VLANs, one for sales department and another VLAN for marketing department. Now we will get into the VLAN database configuration mode. First creating VLAN 2, name the VLAN as sales which is used by the users in the sales department. Similarly, we are going to create VLAN 3 and name the VLAN as marketing This VLAN is used by marketing department Next, we are going to assign the switch port to use particular VLAN we will get into interface configuration mode. Configure the first Ethernet 0 slash fourth port to access the VLAN 2 by using the command switch port to access VLAN 2. Then enabling the port by using no shutdown command. Similarly, we are going to configure the interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 6 port to access the VLAN 3 by using the command switch port access VLAN 3. Enabling the port 
by using the command no shutdown. Now let's see how to configure IP address for the VLAN interfaces. Entering into VLAN interface configuration mode. Assign the IP address to the VLAN 2 by using the following command IP address followed by the address and followed by the subject mask. No shutdown command is used to enable the interface. Similarly, we can configure IP address to the VLAN 3. Using the following command, IP address followed by the address and followed by the subnet mask. Now we will verify the configuration by using show VLAN command. Here you can view the VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 are active and their respective ports. By using show IP interface brief command, you can verify the status of interface and IP address assigned to it. As given in the network setup, we are going to assign the IP address, subnet mask and default gateway to the host1 and host2. First we are going to assign the host1 IP address. The IP address is 10.1.2.2. The subnet mask is 255.255.255. .255 .255 0 and the gateway is 10.1.2.1 which is the IP address assigned to the VLAN 2. In similar way we are going to assign the IP address to the host 2 10.1.3.2 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 10.1.3.1 We have finished the configuration part. Now we are going to see the verification part. Let's check the reachability between the host by using ping command. First verifying the reachability from host1 to host2 by entering the ping command ping 10.1.3.2 You can see the reply from host 2. Then checking the reachability from host 2 to host 1 by entering the ping 10.1.2.2. You can see the reply from host 1. Hence we have verified the reachability between two different VLANs. Thus we see the layer 3 switch has performed inter VLAN routing. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please provide your valuable suggestion for improving the content on Cisco support community. Thank you for viewing.